help me welcome Prophetess Nina Nina Thomas again. She is the leader of the Picket by Folk Prayer Movement. Tell me today she's going to lead us in a time of prayer and warfare. My sister, as always, go ahead and let me know. Amen, amen, amen. It is in great, it is uh, indeed great to be here. I am excited. I hope that you're excited as well. Listen, guys, God is doing amazing things in our midst. I heard Dr. Thomas shared and it was phenomenal. So I am expecting that you have received. I'm expecting that you yourself are blessed. I'm expecting that you're going to take the word that you received today and you're going to run with it. I heard what he said and he said, we got to do what? Come up higher. We got to come up higher in our callings. So I just want to give Give God praise and thanks for using me. I want to give God praise and thanks for this divine opportunity. I want to give him praise and thanks for calling me for such a time as this. I want to give him praise and thanks for just knowing that when he made me, that he knew that this was what he had called me for. But when I look at myself, I was like, Lord, am I just for media? Because that's what I love too. But a part of my grace is media. But the Lord indeed created this voice and give me a unique voice print for such a time. And so I just want to give God praise and thanks for that in Jesus' name. I also want to honor all the leaders who spoke already. I want to honor Dr. Um, Pepe, my good friend. I love him so much. I, of, I, of course, I want to honor, even though he's not speaking, I want to honor the host, my big brother, Apostle Foy. I want to honor all those who have spoken so far. And of course, I want to give honor to my dear husband <laughs> come on somebody help me honor um ag ambassador dr andre thomas my husband listen guys there's a word that says that <laughs> I, you know i have to be me right yes you don't want me to be any other way other, other person right so there's a word that talks about you have that some that sarah call her husband uh lord uh, well, I got to tell you, there are times I feel like doing that because guess what? I have an opportunity not just to see a man who come here and speak such profound words prophetically and share wisdom, but I have an opportunity to live with a man that I see God in. I see God in him. Is I got to tell you, before I even knew the word of God for myself, by watching him and how he operates with God and in God, it has inspired me tremendously to be a better person and to come up higher so my man of god my cultivator my husband the one that i love dearly as you would say i'm using your words you are the only what channel on this tv station <laughs> i love you so much and you know that you are my one and only and god bless you so thank you so much for this opportunity for being on this stage with you and the other great superb leaders so let's get into what i'm going to talk about today because i'm going to talk to you just for a few moments and then we're going to get into prayer come on somebody we're going to get into prayer are you excited about getting into prayer what god is going to do hallelujah so I want to start by telling you, my title is Open Doors for Economic Dig Dignity. Open Doors for Economic Dignity. And it's so amazing because the Holy Spirit reminded me, uh, when I say reminded, it's not that I didn't know, okay? But for this session, he wanted for me to let you know, because obviously some of you have never heard my voice before. Some of you don't know who I am. So even when uh, Dr. Pepe was sharing and he said God is going to bring our uh, uh, gifts from the back, room to the front room well i gotta tell you who don't know my voice before indeed will know it now because the time has come to do what come up higher the time has come to come from the back to the front so, hallelujah and so it's amazing that the lord uh, uh, uh kind of like press on my heart to share with you that a part of my grace uh, is for financial freedom uh for the body of christ a part of my grace is financial freedom for the body of christ so hence you see why today the lord has got me praying with you and you are going to pray with me as well for your nations for what for economic dignity hallelujah somebody and so i want to share with you the uh, from second chronicles 7 14 very much so well known scriptures you're not unfamiliar with this so you're very familiar with this so you know exactly what we need to do here and it says if in second chronicles 7 40 says if my people which are called by my name shall humble and i want 
you to pay close attention. He says, shall humble themselves. So that's the first instructions is to humble self. He said they will humble themselves and pray. Second instruction and prayer. So he didn't come and say pray and then humble self. He said, humble self, then pray. He said, and seek my face. Third instruction. He said, and seek my face. So a lot of us, we want to go before God in prayer. Yes, and seek his face, but without humility. He said, humble self, first instruction. He said, then what? Pray. Second instruction. He said, seek my face. Third instruction. And he said, and third, turn from your wicked ways. This scripture is not for the unsaved. This is for us who are saved. I want you to hear that today. This is for us. So a lot of us read the Bible and say, oh, that's for my unsaved brothers and sisters. I want you to know today that it's for you and I. It is very much so for you and for myself in the name of Jesus. So that's the fourth instruction. He said, and turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. Who needs to turn from their wicked ways today so that the Lord, that God can heal and restore their land in the name of Jesus? Who need to get on their knees? Hallelujah. And pray like prophetess Anna did so that God can restore and heal their land. You can't continue to look at your, your, your national leaders, uh, uh, your political national National leaders and say, Oh, I'm waiting on them to turn it around in my community and in my nation. No, you got to know to whom you're called, the sphere you have called in, and say, I am going to do something because Daniel didn't look at what was happening in the kingdom of the of where he resides. Daniel said, No, I am going to do something because I know the God that I seek. You got to understand that you got to know the God that you serve. But a lot of us today, we actually don't know the God that we serve. It's why when the nation seem to be falling apart uh, we start to fall apart too because we don't know God hallelujah somebody he says then notice the instructions he said then will i hear from heaven he said then will i hear from heaven hallelujah and will forgive their sin so there's a forgiveness that's mu that must come for us he said then i will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and he said i will heal their land you gotta follow the divine instructions of the lord he give us the order we like to turn it around we like to say, okay, well, today I'm just going to do something different. When the Lord is saying, no, humility first. Humility first. So it's why you have so many of the churches and ministries and, and, and in the 12 years of leadership that seem to be somehow decreasing instead of increasing. Because they have it the opposite way. They're going in the wrong direction. But today I want somebody in the name of Jesus to hear my voice today as I speak to you today. Because when the Lord instructed me to speak to you today on what? On open doors for economic dignity. And the Lord has got me even now as part of my agenda is to pray for God to open doors for the nations. So you can see that I am exactly in my call today. And I got to tell you guys, one of the nations I'm interceding for, well, there are more than one, but one specifically, which I'm not going to call the name, but one specifically, God has got me praying for that nation so that he can bring economic dignity to that nation. Now it's gone global. It's gone global. So if you're watching wherever you're watching from, Put your nation in as we pray today. Put your nation in. Plug it in as we pray. I say, Lord God, heal Australia. Lord God, heal Dominica. Lord God, heal St. Vincent. Wherever you're watching from globally, heal the USA. Wherever you're watching from, plug that name in. I say, Lord God, heal and restore in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord woke me and spoke to me prophetically. And he gave me an instruction in prayer that he wants to heal and restore. So you're on a prophetic sound this morning you're on the prophetic instructions of the lord this morning you're on the prophetic voice and a mission and agenda from the throne of god this morning hallelujah somebody stir yourselves up because we are getting ready to get into prayer in the name of jesus proverbs 8 34 said blessed are those who listen to the lord and i'm just paraphrasing it for you he said blessed are those who listen to me hallelujah and he says what who are humble for they will inherit the whole earth he said for they shall inherit the whole earth hallelujah he said blessed are those who are what humble 
Hallelujah. They didn't say blessed are those who is counting the monies that they make. Kamasha, who is only waking up in the morning and say, what's my next business plan? What's my next business opportunity? What do what do I look to go on Facebook to copy and paste? No. He said, blessed are those who humble themselves. Man, do, do, go, shanda, laba, go, soto. I hope you're beginning to be stirred up to know that we have to pray. I hope that your spirits are kasa, are being stirred up, Mashanda, that knowing that we are going to pray that the Lord thy God will hear our prayer today. Say, so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God, Mandili because satire to humble ourselves, Father. Oh, Father, have grace and mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we humble ourselves before you today, Father. Mandili bigo shataya bago soto. Father, in the name of Jesus, and we ourselves, Lord God, any wicked thing that's operating us, Lord God, we turn from it today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, me shandala bago soto. We turn, Lord God. We turn from it, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, as we humble self, that you remove it from our hearts, Lord God. Remove it from us, Father. In the name of Jesus, somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Matthew 5, 5 says that God blesses those who are what? Humble. For he said they will inherit, inherit the whole earth. And Proverbs 8, 3, 4 says, blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors. It says, watching daily at my doors, waiting for my doorway. It says, waiting for my doorway. That means you're waiting for entrance. Uh, whose nation today is waiting for entrance? I heard what uh, Dr. Pepper said, and I smiled because I had the scripture here. Uh, Masha, who is going to ask the Lord to open the nation that his glory will come? come in. Who is going to ask the Lord this day? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your glory come into my nation, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Let it come in, Lord, in your glory, your power, Lord, in your character, Lord. Let it come into my nation, Lord, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Today we're going to pray that the Lord will open doors, divine doors of opportunity for your nation. Say, Lord, open divine doors of opportunity for my nation to prosper Habashataka, in the name of Jesus the so Lord God Rabaka, open doors of divine revel uh, relationships uh, divine relationships maybe your nation need divine revelation too hallelujah the so Lord God open doors for divine revelation to come to the spiritual leaders uh, to come to the 12 strands of leadership leaders Lord God and the Holy Spirit gave me a revelation today you know and he said each one of you that are listening to me right now, you are called to one or the other of the 12 spheres of leadership. So sometimes we get on these mediums and we say, oh, well, that's not for me. But it's because you don't know yourself. It's because you don't know purpose. Because each of us are called to one or the other in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say, so, Lord God, open doors of the spirit, Ashaka. Open doors of the spirit that my nation will be restored and prosper, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Say, so, open doors in the 12 spheres of leadership, in, in, in the entrepreneur, entrepreneurial, the uh, philosoph philosophical, philosophical, in the name of Jesus, arts and entertainment, media, philosophical, arts and entertainment, media, political, social, educational, spiritual, family, military and law enforcement organizational who's and whose gift am i talking to today whose gifts am i touching today in the name of jesus whose gifts am i see whose gifts need to hear that they're part of the 12 spheres of leadership but they say no i don't have anything oh somebody the lord is speaking to somebody today and the judicial leadership and the judicial leadership in the name of jesus who Whose gifts are being ignited? Whose gifts are being challenged? Whose gifts that the Lord is tapping on? Whose doors of the heart that the Lord is tapping on today and is saying, I need your gift. There was a time in my life I used to say, Lord God, why was I not serving you uh, 20 years ago? Why was I not serving you as a kid? Why was I not serving you? I, you know, I look at it and I said, Lord, the Lord give me my spirit 
her. And he said, no, I needed you for now. So stop saying and stop thinking about what you don't have and what you haven't done. I said, Lord God, if you call me now, it means that my gift is for now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray somebody. Let's pray somebody. Say, Father, restore and heal. And remember, call your nation out. Put it in the chat. Call it out and pray powerfully in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, restore and heal my nation. Restore and heal my nation. Bring restoration, Lord God. Bring healing, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Mandi Korea Bashata. Say, restore and heal, Lord God. Restore and heal from abuse of the land. Restore and heal, Lord God, for the crime of the land. Restore and heal, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the vegetation, Lord God. Our crops are dried up, Lord. Our crops, Lord God. Oh, restore and heal, Lord God. Restore and heal the body of Christ, Lord, where they're laid dormant and not on fire for you, Lord God. Restore and heal, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Restore and heal where the financial thief has steal from us, Lord God, have stolen, Lord, from us and the ministry, Lord God, and in our lives, Lord God, in our family lives, Lord God, restore and heal, Lord. Oh, there's a revelation you give me, Lord, of why the church, Lord God, is suffering, Lord God, financially. But I want to say to you in the name of Jesus, that part of the anointed that the Lord that God has put on my life is to help restore ministries, to help restore the body of Christ financially in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, through prayer that the Lord will come in uh, and do a mighty work uh, in your in the name of Jesus in your nation uh, hallelujah somebody pray with me say heal my land Lord God heal my land uh, wherever you are so Lord God heal my land uh, in the name of Jesus uh, heal my land from prostitution of good gifts uh, Lord God Ramasha, you heard Dr. Thomas said it uh, oh heal my land I'm just using a different language uh, but it means the same thing uh, prostitution of gifts, of the good gifts that God has given to us. And we began to sell these gifts. We began to prostitute them in the name of Jesus. So, oh, the Lord look upon us and he said, look at my people that are called by my name, how they're prostituting the gifts that I've given to them. They're not serving the people that I've sent them to serve. Oh, somebody cry, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Amande, heal my land, Lord God, from all those who are prostituting the Lord God, prostituting their gifts, Lord God, causing abuse, Lord God, and destruction to come to your people in the name of Jesus, even blocking those who do not know you, Lord God, to come to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, man, Dan, say, somebody pray in the spirit with me. Somebody pray in the spirit with me. If you're joining this morning as part of the 12 spheres of leadership, if you're joining as a prayer soldier, if you're joining as a watchman, if you're joining as a businessman or businesswoman, I encourage you right now, pray in the spirit of somebody. Heal our land, God. Heal our land, my father, from every abuse, Lamasha, of the wicked, Lamasi, every abuse, Lord God, Ramasi, Heal our land. Somebody lift your voice and say, Lord God, heal Heal my nation. Heal my nation. We know very well uh, that our nations are coming under serious uh, 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 destruction. And we know very well that at this point in time, uh, that our nations are being manipulated. Uh, oh my God, somebody hear what I'm saying. Uh, our nations uh, are being manipulated spiritually and naturally in the name of Jesus because you've got to remember my Sata, that Satan uh, likes when Christians begin to act in fear and doubt. Oh, somebody, your nation is in fear and doubt. Therefore, it will continue to go down and not up. But I come to declare unto your nations today in the name of Jesus, restoration, Amasa, restoration and healing, restoration and healing, economic dignity, Amasha, economic dignity to your nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Father, bring economic dignity to my nation, that my nation will not be talked about and frowned upon in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. 
I need you to sit up for a point uh, and pray because some nations uh, are being talked about and frowned upon. There are some nations that people will not even travel to. They will not invest in. If nobody's investing in your nation, how can it prosper? If your nation is going by a rating that is put online, nobody's going to come prosper your nation, but your nation will be taken over by those who want to abuse the land. Somebody pray, Masaka. Say, Father, bring economic dignity to my nation that my nation will not be talked about and frowned upon in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Living God woke me in the morning and gave me this prayer point verbatim for you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, me liba koshoto. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. This is a morning, Namasa, where you got to pray, where you got to pray. Who am I speaking to this morning that's got to pray, that's got to open your mouth and not think for a second that you have to wait on your national leaders to be able to help restore the land. No, Hamashakata. In the name of Jesus, God has called your voice for now. God has called your voice for now. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Say, Lord God, Ramasha, cleanse this land. Heal this land. Restore this land. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody pray in the spirit. Say, Heal, Lord God. Heal in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, oh, gracious Father, open divine doors of opportunity, Lord God, for righteous leaders to take up their position, Lord God. Hear what I'm saying to you. For righteous leaders to take up their positions in the 12 spheres of leadership, Lord God, to lead the nations into economic dignity in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, you better open your mouth and pray. Namanja, your brother can't pray this for you. Your father can't pray this for you. You gotta pray for your nation, for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody pray, Lord God. Open doors of opportunity. My nation's in the background. My nation is talked about. My nation used to be at the top, but now we realize it's at the bottom. Say, Lord God, Ramasha, open the doors of opportunity for my nation to come from the back to the front. That the gems that you have put in my nation, Lord God, will be highlighted for such a time. In the name of Jesus, somebody. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say, Lord God, heal. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, heal. Heal, Lord, restore, Lord, heal. If you look around your ministries, look around your town, your cities, your communities, you could always tell. And if you're spiritual, you don't only look in the natural, but you look in the spiritual, and you will see that there's a change that's over your nations. But I want to speak to the nations today in the name of Jesus that the people of the nation need to come up higher and pray and pray for the nation. When your leaders call a prayer watch, don't say you are tired. When your leaders call a prayer watch, don't say you're feeling sick. I want to declare to somebody today that today I'm feeling sick too, but I'm here in the name of Jesus to conduct the word of the Lord in prayer for you today because the word of the Lord in prayer shall come forth for the nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't talk about what you, what's happening in the natural body body or your natural environment speak about what's happening in the realm of the spirit that it will manifest in the natural and dissolve what you see before you in the name of Jesus hallelujah somebody my spirit senses that people are praying they are praying they are praying for their nations because they have looked and they have seen an evil on the land and they know that they've got to pray it doesn't matter matter if one person is blessed. Well, you got to pray. It doesn't matter if you see two persons that's being blessed. You got to pray. It doesn't matter if you look up and you think for a second, uh, my household is being blessed. But I got to say to you, the thing that I love about my family, my husband and I, is that we don't just want to be blessed for us. We pray, Lord God, let us be blessed to advance the kingdom. Let us be blessed that other nations will not be beggars. Let us be blessed, Lord God, that you
your work will go forth uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah, somebody. Ha, shalabahata. Yes, secondly, did be go so to korabasata. Oh, somebody prays the Father open supernatural connecting doors of financial blessings for the church to prosper in wealth and word. Because you got to understand the church to prosper in wealth and no word, then there'll be no transformation. Oh, mazika nabaka. Then the enemy will still be roaming in your church. The wealth of then what this dissolve somebody open your mouth and pray say father open supernatural connecting doors of financial blessings for the church and call your church call your land in the name of jesus lord god to prosper in wealth and word to advance the kingdom of god and say and, and lord god shame satan's plan to steal kill and destroy from us say lord amaza in the name of jesus bring satan's plan to shame shame him lord god somebody pray to say shame him lord shame his plans we know his plans lord god you made it plain you made it clear to us lord god that his plan are to kill steal and destroy father shame his plans today oh in the name of jesus amakata shame his plans lord god in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah somebody somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray say father man rabasha every evil spirit taking up the seats in the church and I got to understand I want you to understand something here that this is a vision that the Lord gave me say father every evil spirit taking up the seats in the church instead of your people oh massa say father release your fire and scatter them now in the name of Jesus release your fire Lord God and scatter them now in the mighty name of Jesus come on somebody pray with me Say, so Lord God, release your fire and scatter them now. Every evil spirit, I have seen this evil. The Lord thy God has opened my eyes to see this evil that's happening in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Say, so Father, in the name of Jesus, Amaka, release your fire, Amaka, and scatter them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord thy God be praised today and forevermore. Lord, somebody say, Father, open the door for divine and godly educators come on somebody i want you to be praying say father open divine doors for educators not just any educator the godly educators lord god godly educators to help train the youth if you have a youth if you have a child oh if you have a niece if you have a nephew or if you have a young uncle or auntie oh my jack Say, Father, open rabasata, open godly doors, educational doors, Lord God, to help train our youth, Lord God, in the way they should go, Lord God, that they will not, Lord God, end up in the hands of the devil, Lord God, in the hands of evil predators, Lord God, in the hands of manipulators, Lord God, in the hands of those who are there to suck their destinies out of them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, or in the name of Jesus for the sake of their purpose and their destinies to which they are called Lord God we know this is a time Lord God where you're using the young if you have a young son a young daughter that you know there's a call of God on their life pray if you know you have a young child if you know that you have uh, uh, nieces and nephews that you know you want to make sure that you pray because you can see the way that they're going and you can see that you need to intervene you can see that you need to get on your knees and pray today the Lord send this prayer point for you in the name of Jesus you got to ask the Lord because when your kids leave your home and they go to the schools or wherever they're being educated then you know you're out of control that's why you need to pray hallelujah manja korabasata Hallelujah. Say, Father, open supernatural connecting doors, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Open supernatural connecting doors that the word can go forth, Lord God, that the word can go forth. Like what we have here with Greatness Channel, that the word can go forth, Lord God, globally in the name of Jesus. All those who need to connect to the Greatness Channel, to get their programs on the Greatness Channel, now is the time 
him. You don't want to miss this divine moment. Now is the time to connect and get your program on here. Now is the opportunity, a divine opportunity. This is a divine door that has been opened for somebody. I speak to you right now. I said, don't miss it. Don't miss it because you're looking at what's in your bank account. Don't miss it because you don't think you have a message. No, if God has given it to you, then indeed God gave us this platform for you. So connect in the name of Jesus. Don't look at what you have around you, but just look at what God has given to you in the name of Jesus. Because I got to say to somebody today with the greatness channel, we are going global. As a matter of fact, not going, subject to be corrected, we have gone global. That means that any program that's on here is global too. Hallelujah. I don't know. Maybe you're only called to a community, but the people that's connected to Greatness Channel are global. Maybe you're only called to the four corners of your church, but the people that's connected to Greatness Channel are global in the name of Jesus. I declare global over your lives in the name of Jesus. I declare it that it will ignite your heart to say, I got to get on. I got to get my program on in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody, man. Zo Korea manga sata se fada in the name of Jesus, open divine doors, Lord God. Open divine doors of the Esther code of favor. When I heard my husband spoke about this yesterday, I said, Lord, we need this. So, Father, we activate the Esther code of favor to stay in our room in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. So, Father, we activate the Esther code. We activate it now. The Esther code of favor. Because some of you nations have no favor. Ah, man, Zokura. Say, so, Father, we activate the Esther code of favor to stay in the room that you have opened for us. So as I'm praying right now, and God is opening rooms and doors for you, you got to pray this. You got to pray this. Because when you're praying, I'm hoping that you're praying by faith. Because I want you to know that God didn't just wake me up and woke me up this morning. I said, go sit on the sofa to declare this word to you. No. He wants you to know that he has got you on his mind. He wants you to know that the nations, his nations, he wants them to prosper. He wants to heal them. But where is the man or woman today that's going to humble self and pray? Where is the man or woman today that's going to turn from the wicked ways and pray? Where is the man or woman today that's got the kingdom on their minds? Where is the man or woman today that's got the kingdom of God that resides? in them on their mind. Where is a man or woman today that is saying, Father, now is the time. Now is the time, Lord God, because those that are waiting for me, Lord God, to come out of my nonsense and foolishness, Lord, those that are waiting for me, Lord God, to hear the word that you have put in me, those, Lord God, that I need to open doors for myself, Lord God, you've got to come up higher because they're suffering. They're waiting on you to come out of yourself. They're waiting on you to tap into what God has given to you. They're waiting on you to get out of yourself, get out of your mind, get out of your ungodly characters and say, Lord God, today I change from my wicked ways, Lord. I change from my wicked ways. I seek your face, Lord God. I pray and cry to you, Lord God. I humble myself, Lord God, that you will heal my land, that you would heal my land. Maybe your land today is your body. Ask the Lord to heal it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 20, and we get into the close. Psalms 24, 7, 10, but I want to read for Psalms 24, 9, really 10, where it says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall do what? Shall come in. Who is designed for the king of glory to come into their nation? Who is desiring today as a king of glory? Uh, king of glory, Hamashaya. King of glory, my Shana, King of Glory, Mashala Baha, come into my nation, come into my home, come into my ministry, come into my life, come into my heart. Who today is willing to open their mouth and say, My nation certainly need the King of Glory to come in? He says, Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. I want you to pray, Father of nations. 
let your nature and character rule in the heart of your people. I want you to make it personal. Say, Father of my nation, let your nature and character rule in my heart in the name of Jesus. Let your nature and character rule in my heart. We are the people of the nation. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. God wants us to be people who are separated unto a great work. He doesn't only want us to come and pray and preach a good word, but he also wants us to walk worthy of that call. He also wants us to walk worthy of every word that comes from our mouth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. And finally, man, ziko raba shanda le kosoto. Pray somebody. Oh, man, jandele mi garaba sokondele be kasata. Pray somebody. Lord God, touch our land. Breathe upon our land this day, oh God. Breathe, Lord God. Reshuffle, Lord God. Reshuffle, Lord God. Bring economic dignity, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, turn around my nation. Turn around my ministry, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody, somebody pray. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit just reminded me to pray this prayer point with you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, remove every evil guard uh, that's at the gates. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, remove every evil guard at the gates uh, and replace them, Lord God, with your righteous leaders, your righteous guards. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want somebody to pray that uh, because uh, you got to understand that door speaks about entries and exits. Uh, so that means that in your nation, there must be an entry and there must be an exit. Who are the guards that's at the gates of your nation. Who are the guards that's letting in the evil, letting in the prostitution of your land, letting the evil men and women to come in and devour your land, to trample upon you, to make you be beggars, to make you be in poverty, to make you be in lack. Who are the guards in the name of Jesus, Lord God? Remove them today. Remove them right now. I say, Lord God, remove the evil guards from the gates of our nations. Remove those evil guards, Lord God. Replace them with your leaders. Replace them with your watchmen. Replace them with your guards in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Finally, finally, finally. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, breathe on the greatness channel. Oh, somebody pray this with me. Ah, Pray with me. Pray with me. You see, I'm a pause. I'm a pause because I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's like the airwaves, the spiritual airwaves. I'm waiting for somebody to get it together. Oh, my Jacoraba. I'm waiting because right now there's an atmosphere shift that's going on around me. I'm waiting for somebody to catch it, uh, that they will feel the shift, uh, that they will feel the dimensions of the atmosphere moving, uh, moving across the nations, uh, that they will feel the breath of heaven, uh, oh, that they will feel it upon their lives, upon their homes, uh, that they will feel it across the nations. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, when the Lord was doing a great work, uh, with the greatness channel and he was showing us a shift. I said to my husband one morning, I sense a shift spiritually. And my husband said, I feel it too. Are you feeling it this morning? Say, I sense a shift spiritually for my nation. I sense the word of the Lord in prayer today to heal my land, to heal this nation in the name of Jesus. Who am I speaking to today that need to say, Lord God, I sense a shift. I sense a shift in the name of Jesus. Lockdown. They say lockdown. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. In the heavenlies, Lord God. In the heavens where you reside, Lord God. There is no lockdown in your books, Lord God. We are not locked down. We are not locked out, Lord God. We are locked into you, oh God. We are locked into you. And those that are locked into the Lord, that God, they prosper. Those that are locked into the Lord, that God, they do great exploits. Those that are locked into the Lord, that God, they humble self and pray. They 
return from the wicked ways. Who can sense what I'm speaking about today? Who can sense that shift? Because all around me, man, there's a shift that's going on. Because today I didn't just come to speak a word. I came to prophesy to your land. All through the prayer, I prophesied from the throne of God what he has given to me for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. In the name of Jesus, Father, breathe. Father, breathe on the greatness channel and blow it, Lord God, across the globe into every household. So breathe on it, Lord. Breathe on this greatness channel. Breathe on it, Lord, that it will go across the globe, Lord God. Let every program that's on it, Lord, go across the globe, Lord God. Every social media platform in the name of Jesus and every heart, Lord God, in every homes, Lord God, in every community, Lord God, every nation, Lord God, globally, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, gather the people like sand, Lord God, gather them like sand, Lord God, where we can't even count that we lose count, Lord God, gather them up, Lord. I'm prophesying to the nations. I'm prophesying to the shores. I'm prophesying to the land. I'm prophesying today in the name of Jesus that there's a door, Mashia. There's a door in the realm of the spirit. There's a knob. You see my hand moving because there's a knob for somebody to hold on to. I said this knob is the knob of my nation. Lord God, open the doors of economic dignity in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. I decree and declare declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail over the greatness channel in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the gates of hell uh, shall not prevail over the airwaves assigned and allotted for the greatness channel to shift and transform lives globally. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be praised today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be glorified over your land, over your land, over your land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Man, Oh, altars, 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 altars. Potholes are going to open a swallow of altars. The money altars. Potholes are going to open. The same pothole that they've dug for us. Going to open a swallow of the demonic altars. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Us. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just give the Lord praise and thanks as I turn over now to Apostle Foy in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah.